I'm playing around with this side project where I basically list tech events and conferences, but this is actually dummy data auto-generated. The thing is, I want to use real data. So what is the flow? I should go to the event pages, try to see, okay, so there is the name, the location, the date, and now I have to insert that manually on a form or directly into the database. But doing this operation manually is boring and time consuming. So why not just ask a friend? <laughs> Back to Sirius, I didn't even need to build anything special as agent mode has already some tools. And one of those is fetch, right? You can fetch data from a page. So I can add the link of the conference I want to grab data. And then I can start building a prompt. This is a, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that all the time. So I did it just once and I created the instruction file. In case you want to do something similar, just go on add context, instructions. And here, if you start typing, you can just press enter and create a new instruction file. But in this case, I just created one and that is pretty much the content. So I'm explaining that I will send the chat one or more links and it has to fetch the data. Then I tell you how I want my output. So the file must be an array of events. This will be my array of events. It's empty now. So if it's empty, create an array. If it has data, just append them. And now I want to put my data into my database, right? So this is simply the, the schema that I'm gonna use to validate my data. So I tell Copilot, make sure that your JSON follows this schema. And then I can add some extra instructions like keep tag between 0 and 5 and tag not be all lowercase. From here, since I just told Copilot, I will send you in chat one or more links. I could simply just paste the link and go to add context, instructions, and select import event. But actually, since I added this apply to, I don't even need to do that, well, kind of. Let's say, let me, create a new session. And here I only select data.json as context and I paste the link, the model doesn't really matter. And with that, I can just press enter or click here. And since I'm inside this file, it will automatically use import event instructions as context. And now I didn't need to write the prompt, it just uses those instructions. It is fetching data from the page and that's pretty much it. So the boring work of doing all this manually has been just automated by Copilot. But now how do I put this into my database? Well, again, I just wrote a couple prompts and this is the output. So there's a really simple function that first of all, loads the data from my JSON and then I'm using Drizzle. So I can do an insert operation into events table that is the <laughs> Drizzle table for the events and that's pretty much it. To run this, there's obviously a script into package.json that is the entry just running this file. So from the terminal, I can just run db entry and that's pretty much it. I created my event. I can go back to my application that is here. Those are the old events. But now if I refresh the page, well, there it is. The event is here. It is now on the database and it didn't need to select and scrape the data manually by myself. And the cool thing is that this should also work if I paste multiple links. Like I can reset this one and open compiler chat again. I can paste three links all at once. And this time the agent is gonna fetch, well, again, it's using the instructions as reference. I didn't need to specify that. I'm expecting the agent to now fetch these three conferences in Italy grab the details, it is asking me, hey, can I fetch these web pages? Yeah, sure, let's do it. It is now fetching the resources. So here I'm expecting, yep, there it is. All the data being generated. This looks fine. And yep, let's try again. I keep the data. I run again my script. Everything succeeded. And just in case there's the Zod's came out, it should tell me if the JSON isn't uh, formatted properly. And if we go back to our page, I refresh the page, and there should be three more events. React JSD, Good Motion Milan, and Come to Code. Awesome. But the more I look at that, the more I think, 
this actually has some kind of manual operations. Well, first of all, I want to manually handpick the events. So I try to use perplexity or other tools, but I want to select manually the events. But what else I can automate is adding the events to the database. Doesn't this sounds like a use case for an MCP server? And yes, it is. It doesn't probably really add any kind of huge value to the project itself. But I think it's an interesting use case to play with MCP. So yeah, I think I will put this inside an MCP server and maybe it's going to be the next video. Also, if you have any other kind of suggestion, just let me know in the comment as usual. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.